Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to all you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadaj, Brakatha, Brakatha Makyum. I just want to go into a video real quick uh, here in Ecclesiastes 1 and 14 into verse 15. And I'm going to bring out various scriptures just regarding uh, our current state that we're in right now and you know whether you be here in america europe mexico alaska just being in this current existence this whole place is corrupt and crooked and you know it's full of wickedness and oppression and vexation of spirit so i just want to speak on that uh, i got ecclesiastes 1 and 14 it says i have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold all is vanity and vexation of spirit that which is crooked cannot be made straight and that which is wanting cannot be numbered okay so as king solomon as a man of 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 uh the ability and the understanding of examining and analyzing the things that are going on in his time, you know, um, you know, given the spirit, that's the same thing you ought to be doing. And that's the same, the same thing that we do. And I speak for myself. That's what I do. OK, it's not a day that I go by. There's not a day that goes by. That I'm not examining and discerning the things that are going on here in the earth. OK, and. You know, you got simple people that believe that they, they can run to different cities and states or even jump to different camps and stuff like that. And they're going to be OK. You're not going to be OK, man. OK, you're going to have a sense of 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 comfort, but not you're not going to escape the curses. You're not going to escape seeing the wickedness and the corruption that goes on in the earth. As I stated, whether no matter where you are, where you're at here in the earth. OK. And that, like I said there in verse 15, that which is crooked cannot be made straight. So this current existence, the, 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 when I say current existence, the rulers that be, they're crooked. Okay, and we already know who they are. And I want to go into that word crooked real quick. And this, this can also pertain to individuals, you know, whether you're in the truth, out of the truth or a nation, you know, it, it can go either way. All right, so it says ayath. The outline of biblical usage, it says to be bent, be crooked, bent, make crooked, pervert. To make crooked, falsify, pervert, subvert. To bend, make crooked. The thing bent, to bend oneself. Strong definition. It says to rest. Okay. Now that word rest, let's look it up. Um, Right here in... Well, let's go to the uh, Merriam-Webster. It says rest, resting or rests to pull force or move by violent ringing or twisting movements to gain with difficulty by or as if by force, violence or determ determined labor. Okay, so. Let me see if I can go back. Okay, so um, the word ayath or iwath, salaki, iwath, is, is full of corruption, oppression. It's a place of, of, of rest. Okay, pulling and, 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 and ringing and twisting. That's what this place does to you, man. It uses you up. It can distort your understanding. It can distort the things that are honest, right? It can it can obscure your understanding, meaning it can cloud you with darkness and ignorance. Okay, this place is full of wickedness and it's crooked, and 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 the, the Lord ain't gonna make it straight, meaning that He's gonna make it right. He's not gonna make it right. This place is going to be done away with, as as it's stated here, in a negative sense by. You know, what you sow is what you reap, right? So there's going to be pulling and gnashing of teeth, vexation of spirit throughout the whole compass of the earth. Okay? 
So, yeah, that's what that word um, crooked is. I wath, right? So let's go back. And real quick, let me look up that word wanting. It says the thing lacking uh, defect, defi deficiency. So the thing that is lacking, right? We already know in uh, the book of Daniel, when the, the, the writing on the wall, the hand came out and it was written. It said that uh, Babylon was, lack, was, was found wanting. They were lacking. You know, they were lacking in judgment. They were lacking in everything. And ultimately, fearing Yahweh by Shema was shy. Okay? So, um, that's a defect. Whenever you don't fear Yahweh by Shema was shy, be, you become distorted. You become crooked. Okay? As I stated, this can be as in, uh, directed towards individuals or um, a nation, a group of people. Okay? Or the current existence, the current rulership, the cur current system that is at, at that is at hand right now, okay. And it says, verse fifteen: that which is cro crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. Can be numbered unto the thing that Yahweh Bashemal is wanting, okay. It's gonna be it's gonna be gathered up and thrown into the uh, the fire, man. All right, so. Um, from there, uh, let me see, let's go to Ecclesiastes, it's like you. Proverbs 20 and verse nine, who can say I have made my heart clean? I am pure from my sin. Who, who can say any of that? None of us can say that. Only, only Yahweh Bashemah was shy. Yahweh the Father and the Son Yahweh Shai are the ones that that tell are gonna tell us and let us know, and make it known who is made clean and pure from their sin, who has been pardoned from their sin. Blessed is he who is whose whose sin is forgiven. Right. That's why when you have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you come into the truth, and you walk in this perverted, de degenerate uh, uh, generation. You are to keep yourself in that straight path. Right. So it's it's asking, it's asking proud individuals, people that think they got it, people that think they're in a good case or the good situation as a nation or individuals, who can say I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin. Verse ten: Diverse weights and diverse measures, both of them are alike bom abomination to Yahweh. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure or whether it be right. That's right. So even the, the current existence that we live in is there as a child is known by his doings. So we know by their doings, their works, whether they be pure or whether they be right. Right. So that's how we cast judgment. That's how we able to, to discern and to see through the spirit. It's not that hard to see and tell that this place is, is gone. It's full of evil. It's everybody is ma mad out here, man. Angry. You know, shit, I'm angry myself. I'm ready to I'm ready to smash on certain people. You know what I'm saying? But you can't I can't do that. But what I'm saying is that you see it everywhere on everybody. OK, the only difference with these people is that they don't got the spirit with them. They don't have any guidance. They don't have any counsel. They don't have any hope. They don't have any type of uh, of, of of sure word of prophecy. OK. So before I go into the, these words, I want to go into, I want to bring out in first Samuel, because it says that, uh, diverse weights and diverse me measures, right. And, um, uh, an unjust balance is ba uh, an abomination to Yahweh. So let's go to first Samuel chapter two and verse three, talk no more. So exceedingly proudly, let not ignorant arrogancy come out of your mouth. For Yahweh is a God of knowledge. He's a power of knowledge. And by him, actions are weighed. Okay? So we know that actions are weighed in the balance. Now, a lot of you newcomers, um, uh, a lot of you new guys, 
that come into this truth, um, there's a lot of things that, you know, us brothers that been been doing the work, you know, we we brought out, you know, a lot of uh, clips from movies and things of that nature. Well, there's a, a show called American Gods. And I made a video on this this uh, scene, you know, years ago when it first came out. But uh, there's a scene here where this man is get, is weighing this woman's heart in a in a balance in a scale. And if you could see to the uh, where she's sitting on that scale, it's a it's a feather. And then where he sit where he sit where he is sitting, it's her heart. And he's weighing her heart. Which we know the heart is love, the mind, the action. That's where you 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 bring forth your actions. Just like whether you're a nation, America, you know, Europe, you know, Great Babylon. The, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Okay, it's not hard for me to to say it. But that's what this man is doing, and I'm gonna read it. it says, as the God who use ushers souls into the afterlife, it is Anubis' job to initiate the weighing of the heart. This was seen. As the way the gods would determine the goodness of the dead's soul and whether they should be granted access to the afterlife as God of embalming, Anubis would be used uh, to this process. OK, so we know that um, that's what Yahweh was going to do. OK, he's in a way, way uh, the actions of, of each individual or nations, whether you've done good or bad. And see who, which one weighs the most, you know, who, which one's the, the, you know, has the most weight. And if you watch this scene, it's, it's pretty neat, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a good little scene. But anyways, so let's go back to the scriptures. And I want to go into, back to Proverbs chapter 20. And I want to go into verse 10. And I want to go into um, diverse weights. Okay. So that word right there is Iban. It says the outline of biblical usage, right? It says stone, uh, large or small, um, precious stones, material, weight, plummet. Um, right here at G, it says stone like objects, e.g., hellstone, stony heart, ice. So we know a stony heart is, is basically someone that has a closed heart, a closed mind, and they're basically hard headed. Okay, so we go to the simul, right? That's where you get the word similitude. It says sinking in water, motionlessness, strength, firmness, solidity, uh, solidity, commonness. So you have a negative and a positive sense regarding this um, diverse. What was it? Salakia, like diverse weights. Okay. So you have a negative and a positive sense regarding the simul, the similitude. Regarding the, the the meaning, the understanding of that word, a sinking in water. So what does that mean when you sink in water? You don't know how to swim. You're found lacking. You don't you don't have any any kind of ability to keep you afloat, right? When you go into the to the book of Ezekiel, I forget which chapter. It was one of the last chapters when he's seeing the temple uh, being measured, and he's walking in the water. And you go into one of those words, he starts to swim because it becomes deeper. So the deeper you go into this thing, you have to learn how to swim. You have to learn how to maneuver. You have to learn how to get up. You can't always have people holding your hand or babying you or counseling you or looking for some type of uh, um, recognition from people to make you feel like you're in it. This ain't about none of that. This is about... About it's it's about it's a it's between you and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai point blank period, okay. So, like America is is basically sinking in the water, okay. Motionlessness, they don't have no ability to get themselves out of this 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 ditch this this deep water that they got themselves into, right? Or um, the 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 diverse weights can represent. The strength or firmness or solidity, solidity, commonness, metaphor, uh, petrified with, with terror, perverse, hard heart, right? Stony heart, as I stated. Okay. Then you go to the Strong's definitions. It says um, from the root of H1129 through the meaning to build. And that's what we're doing, right? So even, even America's building. 
Even each individual on the earth is building towards the system. Or if you're a brother, you're building towards the house of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Right? So let's go into the root word, the word root word etymology right here, 1129. So it says, Bana. It says the outline of biblical usage, usage to build, rebuild, establish, cause to continue. To build, rebuild, to build a house. Okay? So that's what we're doing. And that's what the opposite people that are contrary to the this work, they're not doing. That's why there's so much uh, turmoil within the spirit. You can feel it, man. There's so much anguish and, and vexation, um, oppression, you know, um, anxiety, stress, distress of nations. It's, 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 it's crazy. Okay. Because they're building for they're building up a kingdom that that is is going to be annihilated, man. And the elect, though willing on part of that number, we're doing this be, for in a in a, a eternal kingdom of righteousness, and it's gonna come either way. Right. So it says to be built, to build, to rebuild, establish, or restored exiles, establish of re restored exiles. Established made permanent and that's what we're trying to do make this thing permanent. That's why you know brothers are making videos going to the highways and the byways just basically uh, uh, Spreading the knowledge All right revealing the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven the names, you know uh, who the who salvation pertains to Okay, and, and getting things in order Okay, so as I stated Whether it be a nation or individuals okay and the point is of the whole the, the whole lesson is, is this place is, is is jacked up man it's evil out here man from the smallest town to the major cities they don't fucking matter where you're at okay it don't matter where you go you can go back to your 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 so-called home in mexico or your so-called home in africa where the fuck you think you come from you're still gonna catch hell you know what I'm saying? You're still going to catch him. If you're an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? If you're an Israelite, you're still going to catch him. So, that's that's what uh, diverse uh, weights. And then you, I'm going to look up diverse measures. Alright, it says Ayapa. It says Ifa, which is a, Ifa, is, which is a measurement. Okay? Which is, that's what the Lord is doing. He's measuring. You know, he's weighing things. He's weighing things out. Okay, so I ain't gonna go into that one. It's pretty much uh, there. So, and he says both of them are alike an abomination to Yahweh. Okay, and that's what we don't want to be found as, as we know that is prophesied in the book of Daniel regarding that that uh, that dragon, which was the Roman Empire, but it's gonna be reborn regarding to um, Revelations. Okay, that hit that dragon's head that was healed, which is. Uh, Basically, um, which was Great Britain, right? And and today the daughter of of that mother, which is America. Okay, so we know that the diver that the the diverse weights and measures, both of them are alike an abomination to Yahweh. Okay, and a diverse. Let me look. Look, this is what I found for that word diverse. Check it. Okay, so like you, let's go here. Diverse. I think I, I think I picked it up from here. You know what? I got it here. Yeah, the diverse, an adjective, late thirteenth century, separate, distinct, various, right? Which we know that, different in kind or character, which we know that. That's where you get the word diverse, which we know that. From old French, diverse, 11th century, different, various, singular, odd, exceptional, wretched, treacherous, perverse. From Latin, diverses, turned different ways. And that's what America, whether you be a nation or an individual, he turned different ways. That's why the Lord says, Yahweh says to keep your eyes single. Stay on the straight path. 
turn neither right right or left okay and america's america um has done that all these individual people out here have done that okay it says um and lay latin various past part uh parsip parsipital parsipal participle of divert diverti to turn in in different directions from assimilated da, 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 to turn to turn or bend okay so yeah let's go back um so it says in verse 11 even a child is known by his doings whether his work be pure and whether it be right okay so yeah man you know this this place it's not gonna get any better there's no making american great you're not gonna bounce back and become this great sovereign nation that is of righteousness it's it's it, this place is full of evil wickedness unrighteousness that's the reality and the truth of this current existence and it's not going to get better okay before it gets better it's going to get a, a lot worse there's going to be more killings there's going to be more it, it, it everything man you can everything under the sun that is wickedness and evil and that's atrocious and in in uh um what's the word um heinous is going to be performed under the earth under the sun okay that's that's the reward for unrighteousness that's what you're going to receive but but the elect are going to receive you know comfort protection salvation from those perilous times okay and we have to keep our mind and our eyes single towards that hope towards that that the salvation that of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai promises unto us okay um let me get this one and I'll finish it up finish it with it uh this is Proverbs 23 and 1 Yahweh is my shepherd I shall not want it's the same one I believe let's look it up real quick though just to make sure Yep, it says to lack, be without, decrease, be lacking, have a need. So he says he shall not lack. All right, he's not going to lack nothing. Why? Because he has that faith. He has that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He knows who he worships. He knows who's on his side. Right? So it says, Yahweh is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Right? Towards the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because in the midst of all this wickedness that we live in right now, just think about it. Right now, when you walk, you're not walking by still waters, literally. This is not literal. This is going re regarding um, just, just walking that straight path. You know, you're not experiencing too much chaos, even though it's going all around you. You're still, you're still in safety. It says, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Okay? So whether he's, he's, he's in a state of comfort or being chastised, because the word, the rod is to be chastised with, or to rule. Staff is to, to comfort. So, regardless, as long as it's coming from Yahweh Bashem al Washai, he's He's acknowledging that they comfort him. Okay? As long as he's staying in that path. And he gets up. If he falls, he gets back up. Right? In the midst of all this corruption. All this, these uh, degenerates. All these bug outs. All these fucking narcissists. All these proud individuals. The love of many have waxed cold. And that's, that's, a, that's a, a sure word of prophecy right there, man. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In, in the presence of all this world, he has prepared us a table, man. And we're eating. We're eating delicious food, spiritual food, man. 
You know, even though they may see us and think that we're nothing, that we're up to no good or it, our, our, our faith is in vain and shit like that. Nah, man, we have we have we have a, a sure word of prophecy, man, in the, in the state of corruption, in this gross darkness, in this current existence, man. All these snakes and all these crabs and lobsters that, that are slithering around us. It says, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of, the, of Yahweh forever. That is the end result. That's the objective that we want to achieve, is to be to, to receive salvation and be in the house of Yahweh by Shemel Washai. So with that, I hope it was edifying. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.